the world, then you must be asking yourself, why are we at a crypto conference? Why are we just meeting some VCs and raising in the old-fashioned way? At Crypto Economy's ICO 2018, startups make their pitches as to why you should invest in their initial coin offering or ICO. The cryptocurrency, the smart contracts is, is the way to do that, where everything's a lot more transparent. Companies have now raised more than $4 billion from ICOs. Richard Titus advised more than 30 companies on their ICOs just last year. We in the West have access to fantastic financial systems, but that's a very small group of people on the global planet. And so I think blockchain is most powerful, not in the Western world, but arbitraging both us to get sort of emerging markets as well as just emerging market finance, where really there's no incentive for existing players to go and play. But with roughly 30 to 50 ICOs happening every day, some can be dangerous. Speculating on these pump and dumps like is, not, is a loser's game. Miko Matsumura, the co-founder of cryptocurrency exchange site Evercoin, cites the case of BitConnect, an exchange platform that took in billions of dollars and is now shut down. I believe it was Deloitte that recently did a study that indicated that 10% of all the funds that have gone into ICOs, which is literally billions of dollars, is actually has gone to scams. Matsumura says when investing in ICOs, it's vital to do your homework. I think really when the correction comes, the people who will be in the best place are the people who have invested in trustworthy projects. And here in the Expo area, all the various companies are trying to get you to purchase their virtual currencies to become part of their ICO. But it's not just techies that are part of this new economy, it's traditional businesses as well. Nostrum is a publicly listed company from Spain that has more than 130 restaurants in Europe. It's on the verge of launching an ICO, which will allow investors to buy its meal tokens that can either be for investment purposes or used to buy their food. The ICO will finance our international expansion, maybe in China, the, the coming years. Hardwell is one of the biggest electronic dance music DJs in the world. He put his music on a blockchain-enabled technology platform called Settled, which is also being launched in an ICO. The founder believes cryptocurrency can help electronic dance music artists, or EDMs, get paid faster and track valuable information. Imagine you being an, uh, well, an EDM artist from the Netherlands, and there's this cool DJ from Bulgaria, and he's playing your tracks uh, on the radio. It takes about half a year before you get that information. Well, that's basically too late if you want to make a tour next month. So, but if you know it after five minutes, then it becomes something that you can drive your business on. With the ICO market growing, experts here believe it's only a matter of time before more venture capitalists move into the space, as well as more government regulation. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.